Hey guys, what's up? This is Blender 3D Animator, and this is the second part of my Jelly Cubes tutorial. So, um, as you remember, we just finished with finishing up this animation. Um, I had to cancel it to cancel my recording. Um, the, the, the way I record my audio is with a, um, uh, a camera, actually, because I don't have enough money for a microphone yet. I'm going to be getting one soon, so, yeah. Um, I just record it using this and record using Cam Studio, good, uh, program, and, excuse me, um, I just lost my train of thought, but then I link them up, so I only have a little bit of battery left with this camera, that was my point, so why don't I, uh, just cancel this, that's pointless, uh, I wasn't paying attention, so that just kind of bounces right up in there. Anyway, so now you're probably wondering, well, let's adjust our camera, grab it on the X, X, or Y, then X, and then more Y, and then more X, and then up on the Z axis, and then rotate it to look down. Oh, by the way, to rotate it to look like, like this, free roam, because uh, normally it'll just go like this. You have to press R twice, and then... You can go around. So R once does that. R twice does that. R once this. R twice this. Anyway, um, do a default render. Check it out. I'm probably wondering. All right, let's see. Let's see how it looks. Go on, I can't wait. Hurry up. <laughs> la -dee -da -dee -da -da -da. Well, that's dumb. Yeah, that's probably what you're thinking. I thinking you just ripped me off. No, I didn't. What you can do is uh, advance a couple frames so you have a little bit of bounciness going on with your cube here. Like that. Perfect. So select your cube and go into your uh, materials tab. Add a new material. Select the color. Today I'm going to go with, I don't know, let's try red. And go over to your shaders. <laughs> Increase your reflections all the way up, and specularity all the way up. Now, hardness, I'd recommend keeping the same. The lower it is, the wider this uh, white, sir, like the wider the uh, the bright beam of light is. So, depends. If you want it real small, increase it. If you want it all over the cube, just or yeah, you get the point. So, keep mine relatively big, and to get this to be fully reflected, which I'm not going to do because it'll take too long to render, just go to your mirror and transparency thing right here, it's like ray mirror, and uh, I didn't do a full mirror actually, I actually didn't. Um, to get a really awesome effect of just pure reflection, put this ray mirror all the way up, everything else default value. Then it just gets killer. Um, I'm going to unmirror that just because I want to show you guys what this render looks like with high specularity and reflection. <laughs> Alright, you can kind of see here that the light bounces off and it's really bright right there. Um, I can select both of these and... Whoa. Uh, what did I just Well, anyway, um, let's see my light here. Like, if you increase the energy of your light, not uh, just a bit. Uh, advance a couple frames. I messed something up. I'm, not, I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, um, drag this closer like that. So, then drag it down. Not that one. Jesus, no matter what I do. Alright, let's go with like 50 some. 50, I don't know. Alright. Render it, Jesus. <laughs> and you can sort of see how it has a nice high uh, reflection. 
I don't know why it's not working the way I had it on my other one. Uh, I'll check the settings here. Speculate. Maybe they had my hardness. They might have actually been slightly transparent, uh, reflective. That could have been it. And, uh, you're only going to see a little bit of it, obviously, because of where it is. Yeah, see, I decreased my hardness also, and it gives it a, a nice bright effect like that, and then you can see it's partially reflective like that. That gives it a nice meat jelly effect. Um, you can also, uh, let's decrease some frames here. Just go with that. Now you're going to have high specularity here. Yeah, this whole side's pretty much going to be white, because of the hardness is low. But you can also see that down here you're already getting a reflection. And very high specularity, low hardness, high reflection. You know, pretty look, pretty cool looking. So yeah, pretty much experimental. And then you have your uh, plane here that you set um, fully reflective if you want. And then just to do two of them, two jelly cubes, insert two objects, make them both soft bodies. Put them in different locations and bada bing, bada boing, bada ba ba ba. But um, you can also, you know, go into your top view here and uh, drag this over. What the? What the? Drag this over like a certain spot of the cube that you want it, the plane that you want it to fall on. You get a fall at different spots and you get squished on different spots or whatever. You get the point. So. That'll conclude my second half of this tutorial, and real quickly, I'll add in some a little bonus for you guys. For those of you who, ooh, somebody's making onions with stuff. I decided to work on a face. Um, I understand it's not very good. Let me add my subsurf. Um, I have a question for you guys. Anybody who's good with Blender, I have my nice face right here, you know, you can see it's nice ch uh, cheeks and the lips if it wasn't giant and wide like that, I got a nice nose with some nostrils but if the problem is, hold on, one second um, when I mirrored this, it won't, like it makes this indentation here and then I get this big lump along here, no matter what like, I understand I have it like, this weird um, extra piece right there, but that's not even the reason, because it's just, anywhere, like, because it, it's mirrored, it knows that there's two vertices apparently originally right there, so it'll kind of form down. If you guys know how to get rid of this line, because if I'm, like, in a uh, solid mode, and I take my subserve off, it's still noticeable, sort of, not as bad, but as soon as you add the subsurface, it makes it definitely stand out because of the mirror. But that's a preview of, of my face. Well, not my face. I used a uh, this and then uh, that. So if you guys know how to solve that, let me know. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see. You